right, we are out in Mission BC today. And although Mission BC is an hour and a half away from Vancouver, it has population 40,000 people and it's a bit older. Today, we're gonna show you guys why this is the gem of the Fraser Valley and it is relatively affordable. What's up guys, That Agent Kelly here, back with another vlog tour, and today we're doing Mission. And I got my camera guy, Bruce, with me today, who's holding the camera, who's lived his whole life in Mission, grew up here, so he's probably gonna be chatting with you guys too as we go through Mission here. Yeah, so we're gonna head into historic downtown to start to show you guys um, what the downtown core looks like, obviously. And then Mission is actually up and coming. There's one of the big developers in our market here bought about 3,500 acres in Mission two or three years ago that they are developing. Massive commercial outlet with residential is currently being developed and almost done. And tons of sightseeing in Mission because you're really close to lakes, fishing, camping, probably hunting and everything like that. But we're gonna start with showing you guys the, the, uh, the historic downtown, which we are already at right now, so. And something that I forgot to mention about Mission earlier, and the reason why it's somewhat of a gem of the Fraser Valley is because, oh, there it is, that's, that's the station right there. We have the West Coast Express here in Mission, and that goes, it's a railway train that goes right into downtown Vancouver. So you can work in Vancouver if you, if you live in Mission, and you know, other places that are further away from Vancouver don't have that. Like for example, Abbotsford and Chilliwack, uh, a little bit further away from downtown Vancouver, but they don't have the West Coast Express. So Mission is debatably more accessible to downtown Vancouver than say a Chilliwack. Maybe not Abbotsford, than Chil but Chilliwack. Currently right now, you can get probably a decent starter detached home in the 800,000s in Mission. Mission does not have a lot of condos, does not have a lot of townhomes. It's mostly older detached homes, but yeah, 800,000, you can get a decent starter detached home. And in the 900,000s, you can get a pretty nice house out here in Mission. So it's, yeah, it's comparatively affordable when we look at, you know, the rest of Vancouver's metro area and the Fraser Valley. It's got that historic cowboy feel to it, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go check out the newer up and coming area of Mission, because this is obviously the old historic downtown. We're gonna go check out, I don't even know what they call it, it's just like the newer area in Mission, but then just past it, there's another area called Silverdale. And within Silverdale, very nice area and newer, that's the area that this developer, I don't wanna say their name, but they bought about 3,500 acres worth of land in that area. So Mission has, it's very close to Stave Lake, which is a very popular place to go camping. Uh, and boating and fishing. I probably go there once or twice a year to go camping. And it's close to Cascade Falls. A little view, especially for you all uh, photographers. It definitely gives that nice uh, Pacific Northwest look. Okay, I see. Yeah. So it's very pic picturesque kind of hiking and like sightseeing. Will. There's a lot of outdoorsy stuff to do in Mission if that's the kind of person you are. Like maybe you're somebody who's moving from Alberta. I know typically Berta boys like to do outdoors things and the pricing really isn't too much different from Calgary these days, like maybe 20% more expensive than Calgary, maybe 30% more expensive than Calgary, um, but obviously weather's way better and you get all the outdoorsy stuff. Actually, you get way more outdoorsy stuff than Calgary. What am I talking about? Um, you actually survive. Yeah, That's right, and it's all cool. here. It's, it's like within like 20 minutes. Oh, there's a beach here too. What's that beach called again? I've been there like a few times in the last couple of years. Hayward Lake, yeah, that one's really nice too. So there's a, there's a beach very close by in Mission too. So here's the newer area of Mission. Let's go in here and check this out. So this project's called Ren and Raven, and it sold in 2019, I believe. It's a massive project. Like tons of commercial, tons of condominiums, basically completely changes the landscape of Mission. Uh, Mission has a lot of growth coming to it, a ton of growth. It's still cheap. I firmly believe it's not going to be cheap in five years, 10 years from now. You know, you're buying 7,000 square foot lot with an older home on it for, you know, somewhere in the 800,000s. It's not going to be like that forever, guys. So it's a good place to buy into. Um, investment wise you know if you love the country if you love outdoors things this is a great place to be if you like 
nightlife and those types of amenities, this probably isn't going to be the city for you. Although they do have a brewery now, you were saying. Oh yeah, Hubco. Yeah. Going further east is Hatsik, which is really out in the country, but also another beautiful area. There's Hatsik Lake. You can buy a home on the lake out there as well. They're like 900 grand. Harrison, that was the other one that you're I'm like forgetting. Four, you're about like 40 minutes, 45 minutes away from Harrison. From Harrison, yeah, that's yes. right. And Harrison is like a vacation type of, it's like a resort place. It's like a resort town. I guess, essentially, out here. And you're 45 minutes away from it. Let's, we're gonna show you guys what a typical neighborhood in Mission looks like right now. So this is basically what every single house in Mission looks like. We call that the BC box. You can probably get one of these in the mid 800,000s, depending on how big it is, if it has renovations, if it has a suite. Blue collar job, uh, you can definitely live in Mission, for sure. You know, back when I was a plumber, uh, a lot of my coworkers lived in Mission and just would drive commute every day. Um, so it's completely doable. Yeah, so if you have a corporate job where you need to work downtown Vancouver, uh, the West, you get first dibs on the West Coast Express. Claim your seat first thing in the morning. We're, uh, we're coming up on a project that I sold uh, two years ago now called the Preston. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. So I sold five units in this building actually two years ago. The thing I loved about this condo building is that a lot of the units are facing some greenery, facing a green belt. Oh, these are nice. Yes, brand new. What is, oh no, this is Westminster Plateau. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, because it's West based Minister off of the Plateau. church, yeah. Let's take a left to quickly yeah, check this out. So we're gonna take, I forgot about this one, Westminster Plateau, condos, townhomes. This is a pretty big, oh, oh I know exactly goodness. what this is. Yeah, I, I, viewed, uh, I viewed these detached homes a couple years back, but they didn't have any of these townhomes here before. This is a big subdivision here. I feel like we're in Burke Mountain. Yeah, all brand new. Um, we're going to Heritage Park to show you guys Heritage Park, which is like a really nice park that people go to in Mission. But it's like so foggy today that you can't even see. You can't even see like 10 feet in front of the car. So uh, when we were at a higher elevation before, so you could see what's going on. But now that we're a bit lower, you can't really see anything. So yeah, we're in the foggiest freaking area for whatever reason. So what a life. Well, I don't know. We might just we might just throw some B-roll. Yeah, over enjoy top this B-roll. Yeah, uh, when it's not uh, foggy. That's about it. There's a whole area called Junction in Mission that has like a London Drugs, the gym, grocery store, uh, even some sh like shopping clothes and stuff like that. Uh, but again, it's so foggy. I can't show you guys anything. But what I will say about Mission, so you're an hour and a half outside of downtown Vancouver. You're like 15 minutes to Abbotsford. You're 20 minutes to Maple Ridge. Within Mission, you're very close to the Fraser River. So like what, you can go down and actually like walk beside the river and hang out down there. In a lot of areas of Mission, most of Mission you're up on a hill in the residential areas. So a lot of homes do have an amazing view of the Fraser River and the Fraser Valley. You really don't get those views anywhere else other than like a few spots in Chilliwack and a few spots in Abbotsford, right? So uh, it's beautiful for, for the price you pay, for sure. So that's it for Mission BC. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you liked this, you should watch the one that I did on Abbotsford. And as well, if you guys have any other areas you wanna see, Please let me know. I'd be happy to shoot them for you guys. Appreciate you guys. I'm that Agent Kelly. I'm making moves to move you. Peace. <laughs>